Morning everybody, this is Jonathan from Hodgepodge Homestead. Uh, this morning we are taking a little bit of a road trip and I got two of my six grandkids in the back. We are going to get a couple things that are special for the homestead. We're not saying anything because we don't want them to know until we get there. But we will show you guys what they are once we get them back home. We're pretty excited about it. Our homestead is back on the run for things that we like to do. So. Um, we're gonna head out of the driveway and we're gonna make our way to get a couple special things. You guys excited? Yeah. Yeah? Yay. All right, let's go. Hey guys, we're back home and uh, yeah. <laughs> so we went to get our surprise and uh, they're here, they're home. You'll probably hear them in a second. And uh, I went to get a shower after uh, getting our surprise and I decided, you know what? I'm gonna trim the beard up real quick. Well, I messed her up. So we're starting over. A lot of you, it's probably the first time you've ever seen all of me. <laughs> anyway here we are and these are the new additions to our homestead that is that is prince albert and queen victoria so vicky and al they are saint croix sheep with the saint croix sheep they won't they won't grow horns and we don't have to shear them they'll shed which is just one more thing that we don't have to worry about taking care of and they've been out here for about an hour now, maybe that, and I don't know if they've drank yet. I don't know if they've eaten. I know that they have pooped. <laughs> but, but what I'm liking right now is she's eating grass. And where they were before, they didn't have a whole lot of grass. They just had a small pasture. But it got chilly today. We actually had some snow coming down this morning. But uh, I think they're going to be fine here. We've got their shack built for them. We have to go get some bedding today. I was just going to use hay for them, but we found we can get some bedding. So we're going to go get some bedding. And I want to get their mineral buckets up. Just give them some time to yeah, get used know. to it. They were both with their mamas, and so they're in a new place and newly separated from their moms. They're real friendly. I mean, they were real friendly when we were over there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's okay. Come on. 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 Hopefully, we'll find one as sweet as this one. Though. <laughs> yeah, messy face, though. Mm -hmm. All right, come over here and see me. <clears throat> come on, come on, Al. There you go. There you go. Yep, so we got them. Uh, I think maybe we'll give give them a tour of their house. Sure. So this little shack you're looking at right here, it's made out of pallets and a whole bunch of barn wood I got out of a clean out I did with my son-in-law. I had the steel for the roof. The only thing we had to buy was some two by fours. I think we're into this. I've got it all charted out, but I think we're in this for about 125 bucks. So that's pretty good. That's counting the T-posts we had to buy. Um, 
What else did we buy for this? I think it was just T-posts and the, the two by fours. So what I plan on doing is I think right up in this corner over here, I think I'm gonna build a shelf and store four or five bales of hay in here. Yeah, cause I don't really have any hay storage. And uh, that'll be okay. I found a great place to get hay. And um, yeah, this is, it's 12 feet wide or 12 feet long, eight feet wide. And I can pretty much, I wanted to build it so that I wouldn't do this. But once I got going and moved it, where I built it initially, I could walk under the whole thing. But once I moved it, it changed. The ground level changed. So, but uh, this is their their little hut. They've got pasture that goes all the way down to the end of our garden here, and I've got a little man gate down at that end in case I got to get in from over there. And then on the other side of their hut, they've got more pasture. A little bit. Yeah, they got just a little bit over here, but they'll have shade during the afternoon and things. Ooh, and that then, wind. Yeah, the wind's whipping. And then I've got another gate right over here that they can go in and use that as pasture also. And then eventually I'm going to put another gate over there where our dogs are for them to go in the dog pen. So they can, they can bounce around off three different pastures. Um, I think they're going to like it. They got lots of room, even once we get... Even if we get two more used, we'll have plenty of space for them. Um, their, their hut faces the south, so we'll get that morning sun every day. And for the most part, their hut's windproof on the inside. You know, all they need is to be out of the wind and rain, and they're fine. So, Prince Albert and Queen Victoria. <laughs> Hi, baby. Yeah, when I when I brought them home, we had them in the back of the truck in a dog crate, and I had it wrapped up in a moving blanket. <laughs> and when I carried her in, she peed all over me, so that's why I had to go in and and uh, get a shower and change my clothes. And that's when I decided to do this. <laughs> well, it is what it is. It'll be back. It grows pretty fast. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. It's all right. Oh, that's her, isn't it? No, right, that's she? him. Are you not going to be friendly now that you're over here? He's just nervous. Come on, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. All right, here you go. There you go. Come on. <clears throat> well, John sure is excited to have animals back on the farm. <laughs> Yep, animal husbandry is one of my favorite parts about homesteading. I love the garden and I love what you get out of that every year, but you know, you can let that go and it just, it happens. But these guys need your attention, you know, every day. And to give it to them every day is when you, when you make sure they're okay. Their hooves are good. There's nothing stuck in their eyes or anything like that. And they're just, I just love the animal husbandry part. So yeah, they're, she's just shaking her tail and wagging. Yeah, they're all right. They'll be a little nervous and... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but at least I don't have any horns to deal with. When we did goats, the worst thing about having goats was taking them and getting them dehorned. Those poor little babies doing that to them. I didn't like that. So we don't got to worry about that now. But anyway, I think we're going to let you guys go on this note here and know that... Uh, we're getting animals back and all that, and we've got another surprise coming up here real soon. We'll take you guys on that whole journey with us, too. So, uh, these guys were born... I think January 5th. January, January 5th, and today is... March 17th, St. Oh, Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. I'm not, I don't think I have any green on. So, they're about two and... About three and... Uh, <laughs> January, February, yeah. No, they're about two and a half months old. Yeah, but... Uh, they were pretty much weaned off their mom anyway. And so we're glad to have them here now. And Maybe they'll come on. Come on, baby. Come on. They haven't ventured into their hut yet. All right, guys. So I guess this is where we'll let you go. 
and uh, you know how it is. Here at the Hodgepodge Homestead, we love getting new animals on our homestead, and you should too. Have a great day. We'll see you all later.